How's it going? It's your boy from the land down under, Jetman99. Just kidding, this is Zeminon, uh, coach usually in the Lonely Draft League of the New Haven Charizards, but this week we are actually coaching the Australian Arcanines because Jetman is unable to battle, so uh, I'm facing off in uh, the PBL, PBAL Season 6, Week 3. Uh, facing Devious Ditto and the Malum Arsenal, assuming like Arsenal, like the the uh, team, sports team. Uh, so yeah, Jetman couldn't battle this week, and he needed a friend to help out, so I'm helping out. If I get 6 owed, I apologize, but really, Jetman can, can do about it, uh, <laughs> because I had to, you know, it's already, all right, so what was like... Was there anything I'm happy he didn't bring? Melodic, I'm happy he didn't bring. And then somewhat the mag, the mag mortar, Glarian Articuno too would have been, would have been rough. Um, so like, I think he definitely expects me to lead Coco. So that's where I, I kind of don't want to lead Coco. I think I go Serena expecting the, um, Sazmatoad lead. That's what I think. Um, here, I gotta, I gotta clear my sets as well. Let me say good luck, have fun. Yep. So let me clear that. Import the sets. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so good luck to to Devious. Um, you know, I hope I don't get six of them. Obviously, obviously, I don't have the right graphics or anything like that because I'm playing in the one draft league. So, uh, just kind of assume that. Pret pretend I'm, I'm Jetman here. Okay, so he did leave Whimsicott, which I guess. Uh, I guess the Coco actually would have been fine here. So, instead, I'm going to U turn. I don't know if it was going to go for Leaf Seed or Encore or Tailwind or something. Substitute, maybe. No, he just U-turns. Okay. So he at least has U-turn, which means he doesn't have something else. But I get this. I get the switch priority, which is nice. Dude, if he goes into Sasha Show, that stinks. It's like they're making a power whip or something. But um, I'm not sure what else. Devious Ditto would really want to switch into on this turn. I guess the only debate he's having is if the Sasmato is, or if he thinks I went for the power left slot. But no, I didn't. So, uh, you turn into the Dragonite, which breaks the multi-scale. Um, so I think it's very, very clearly Coco, obviously, right? Just depends on what type of dragon is there. Is he left us to get back up to full health or let's say he's dragon dance. He's not left these. Okay. Uh so Oh, but he's not home. I mean I only changed his health. There we go. I was gonna say, I was like, why is it only doing 40%? Okay. Um I think there's definitely there's no there's no reason to not dazzling gleam because even if he switches into into uh oh, okay so I could have went for the volt switch it is gonna be super tanky obviously so that did like nothing he's left over obviously he also sees that I am not um that did less than I don't even know. Uh, he sees that I'm not Life Orb, so, Volt Switch. If he wants to switch into Sazmatoad, I guess that would be fine, but I think he wants to either Wish or, or you know, like, Knock Off or something, whatever, whatever Aldino wants to, to go for. Um, the only, I was kind of worried about Aldino, honestly, in this match, because the only fighting move I have on the team is a crocodile. So I am going to go into Arachnid to Toxic. That's the, the plan of the 
he toxic me. No, he went for Dark Call. So he knocked off my Cobra Berry. So I I guess it doesn't matter as much now because he didn't bring Articuno. So it was for Articuno or Dragonite. And I don't think he really has a, a two a, uh, a one-turn physical flying move. So I'm fine with losing my, my Cobra Berry there. He probably expects, uh, does he expect me a Sticky Web? Like, if we look at our team, the only thing that really helps, like, Sticky Webs would help Crocodile outspeed Whimsicott, I guess? But besides that, I don't really, I didn't really consider Sticky Webs too much in this matchup because, uh, Regieleki and Coco were already so fast. So, like, I guess I could have had Sticky Webs for Crocodile, um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens there. I just have to make sure that this Dragon Knight doesn't set up on me. That's, like, what my big concern is. He withdraws. Is it into Lucario to take the Toxic? No. Okay. It's into this. So that's nice that I land a, uh, a Toxic on me. I also think that it's time to reveal the tech in soap. I think he Dragon Dances this turn, because it's a free Dragon Dance. So I'm going to take away the stab on uh, on his Dragon Axe. If he goes for Substitute, it's really bad. Because he might just 6-0 me. <laughs> I don't even know. He went for Rock Slide. Okay. That's super effective. Now does Electric Train end this stream? Okay. Who wants to eat the rock slide? I guess Serena would want to eat a rock slide, right? Slide, yeah. So Serena, Serena's fine taking this. I think he just rock slides again. And we are gonna get some more toxic damage on him. Yeah, he stayed in obviously since Arachnid switched in first. And that did a lot. Is he adamant? Like, I actually don't even know. He might be adamant, which this is really sync for us. I was expecting Jolly. He switched out. I could have used you turn. Yep. I should have kept the initiative. Because I missed anyway. So, like, this this turn, I could have, uh... I could have, I could have U-turned into Flareon and Wish. And then even if he, ta even if he encores me, I I'm still able to switch out. So I, I lost I lost some pretty free priority switch priority there, which is unfortunate. I assume we just use search again. Yeah. The Serene is getting really low, which is not good. He might, he might think I'm going to Stealth Rock. So it looks like he's at 80. If he's not defensive, which I think he's specially defensive for my two electric types, this might not go. He might think I go for Stealth Rock here. But he did see I wasn't Intimidate, so that obviously the Moxie is a more offensive uh, 
typing. Oh, ho, 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 that was smart. Obviously he has that for wish, wish Protect. So we know he has Wish Protect knockoff. So I'm just going to knock off whatever he wants to switch out here. Because I think he knows that the CC might knock out. So he's probably going to switch. Probably into the Whimsicott. Yep, into Whimsicott. So if I had like Fire Fang or something, I could have went for that. But I don't. So we knock off his item, that's the lefties. Into Flareon we go. Now obviously he can't taunt. It's, uh, he's Prankster. And I'm a dark type. So does he go from Leech We know he has U-turn. That's all that's all we've seen so far. Is U-turn. I'm just trying to figure out what else his, his plan is. Like, is it an encore set? Is it we seek some? Is it because it's lefties? It, it was leftovers. We knocked off the leftovers, but hopefully this this second game will give us a nice moon blast. So he is offensive, or he might not necessarily be offensive. You know what I mean? Wish. If he taunts us, he taunts us. That's fine. Like, that would be... It'd be a really dangerous turn for him to taunt us. Because that could just Flare Blitz. Like, obviously, Flare Blitz would not go already. Yeah, I mean, Flare Blitz would do, like, 180%. Yep. So, it's a free Wish. Into Wiggle Wiggle, which is him. So, how much Seismitoad, so so because this could be a, a nice, juicy wish. I, am I above 23%? I am, I am. Okay, cool. So, even knockoff doesn't KO. And Skull, I love Skull Nerf Power. He probably does go for Stealth Rock, though. Poison jab. Uh oh. Oh no! What? Poison jab. Did wait? It says it's a 16 to 19 percent. I was at 25 percent. Is he offensive? Oh, okay. I think I have to pressure him out. Now I lose the soap, the soap tech for the Dragon Knight. Okay. He could also be Rindo, too, so he actually might stay in. I think there's no reason to not Grass Knot, even though he knows it's coming. Like, he can switch into the Whimsicott, but then I'm faster anyway, so I Volt Switch into Flareon. That, I'm, I'm very confused as to how Saskatoon KO the Arachne. It says it does 16 to 19% and I was at 25%. So. Yeah, he switched. It was, it was obvious, it was an obvious switch, but. I revealed the grass now, so he knows I have it now. I don't even know what really would have, uh, what priority would have changed if I went the bolt switch. Like, I guess I one turn sooner go into Crocodile. I don't know. I guess at this point I can just go for Rising Voltage. Or actually, he's probably gonna protect. Yeah, he's gonna protect. 
So, does he switch into a physical attacker or a special attacker? Probably physical. Right? It's probably the Dragonite. So, we're gonna reflect as he protects. He either protects or switches out this turn. That's the, I, I guess that, that's the only things I can imagine that he does. That he switches out into Dragonite, right? No, into Seismoso. Really? Okay. He went for the Poison Jab for Serena. That's why. Um, yeah. I have run out of my grass <laughs> or my ground switches. See if he goes for rocks. This is this is definitely a greedy turn, but yep. So I could have got Serena in for free. Dang it! Uh, and now I can't. I have to. Uh, I have to hope he poison jabs. Which crew could I resist? And then I get a free knockoff. Earthquake! Oh man. Okay. So like he just obviously I think he goes back into the Whimsicott. Because he already got his item knocked off. So Yep, he switched out. Into Whimsicott. And... Oh, man. This is... This really stinks. I'm just gonna do Baton. I'm not gonna wish. I'm just gonna get the priority. Yep. I don't really see how we can we can break through this because we lost Arachne. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him after the game what his Sasmatote's set was. He's probably all physical. Yeah, so let me change bold on this to uh where is it? Impish. And so Impish it still says 18 to 21% on the poison jab, and I was at 25%. So he has to have some type of, uh, <clears throat> he has to have some type of, what, of whatever, some, some type of attack investment. Yeah, I think there's no shot he lets me, he lets me power with him. I could U-turn, but I don't think there's really anything I can I can do about it. I'm really not. <clears throat> I'm Excuse me, I'm not really taking advantage of my my screens right now either by all this switching. Like I wish I had someone I could set up with under the screens. <clears throat> So I should I could have used him, but I got, I get rid of the self rocks, which is which is nice. And then he's gonna knock me out with rapid with rapid spin. Or excuse me, with U turn. Sorry. I am actually one thing faster. Let's see. I'm probably still not faster because it's like even you know if I was Scarf or something, I wouldn't be faster. So let's just say plus one speed to 154. <sighs> if he. uh... If he's not full speed, like, what would he need to hit? He would need to hit on the team 102. Let's see, he's probably still faster than me. 
So I'm just going to try to preserve differential here for Jetman, because there's really nothing we can do left. There's two minutes left. <clears throat> so I'm just preserving differential. And it's going to be a 6-5 to five loss, unfortunately. Yeah, he did go for the U-turn. He knew this. Or he at least suspected that he was faster. Like, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to check afterwards. To see. Yeah, it's just like one play, dude. That was literally it. Um... Yeah. He's just gonna stealth rock again. No! Earthquake, okay. I should live. Yep. He definitely has some offense invested because that's behind a reflect. Seconds. Flareon. Uh, Seismitoad. Uh, actually, I can't even get the like, set to to come up. So, Battle Engine 40. Reflect War off, but I still do have Shikaberry, so I should be able to live any hit. Let's just see. Let's just see if he stays in for the Earthquake. No. Yeah, so. Oh, that, that literally one turn decided the game and we lose 6-5 because of it. So, you know, good games, good games to, to Devious did though, like, he, he played really well, he, um, did, you know, he, he did what he had to do, which doesn't really matter, like, you know, I, I understand, we, we lose 6-5, so sorry, sorry Jetman, uh, I, I, I tried my best, but, uh, I brought some fun tech, at least, I thought the soak was pretty fun on, Arachnid, you know, maybe maybe you can use that in future games this season in the PBAL. Like the I essentially the idea, like something like Dragonite would have been a problem for Regieleki. Um, or the Seismitoad, who's the ground type, is a problem for it. So if I soak Seismitoad or I soak Dragonite, it becomes a mono water type. And that way Regieleki in electric terrain can like go in because it'd be hitting it super effectively with the electric, electric terrain boost and then the, the ability boosting his attack and stuff like that. So that was the idea behind it. Unfortunately, we, we, I, I, unless maybe it was a damage roll for that poison jab to KO the Arachnid. Like I'm still really confused about that. Um, but yeah, good games to our, our opponent. I know he's he said he's been having some, some close games in the first couple weeks in the PBAL. So thank you Jetman for uh, let me do this battle for you. Hope you're hope you're able to get back to battling in the following weeks in the season. And uh, everybody, make sure you subscribe to Jetman so you can stay updated and stay you know notified when his future battles go up in the PBAL. But for now, this is Zeminon uh, filling in from the Lonely Draft League. By the way, so shout out to LDL. Um, but this is Zeminon, coach of the New Haven Charizards, and. We're signing off, and I'd say we'll see you next time, but, you know, we won't. This isn't my team, so uh, the Australian Arcanines and Jetman99, we'll see you next time.